as global environmental awareness grows, new energy vehicles are driving industrial upgrades and green development in the auto industry. China is key in carbon reduction and climate action, contributing significantly to global climate efforts. In 2023, China's NEVs help cut global climate emissions by around 50 million tonnes. In China's Yangtze River Delta, cities are joining forces to build a new energy vehicle industry cluster within a four-hour drive. Automotive chips, batteries, die-casting parts and assembly lines are all produced locally, creating a highly efficient supply chain. So how do these enterprises collaborate so seamlessly? Let's find out. Intelligent driving is a hot topic in new energy vehicles. With smart, user-friendly features, these cars feel like they have a brain, offering a smooth and efficient driving experience. Behind me, the office is buzzing with R&D on intelligent driving systems for new energy vehicle controllers. Let's go inside and check it out. Hi, Yosef. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Nice to meet you. So where are we today? Uh, right now, let's say we're in the RM simulation lab. This simulation lab is mainly to testing the other functions, including the emergency braking function, including the parking function, and also some driving functions in the virtual environment. So this guy looks like he's playing a video game or something? No, he is doing some simulation tests. So here is a, let, let's check in this scenario. Our car is moving forward. Yeah. And now there is a pedestrian coming from right to oh. the left. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Our system reacts correctly, automatically doing the braking function to prevent the collision happens. Really smart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's pretty smart. Right now, this bench is doing the test for the driving function. It is, let's say, mainly to testing the function on the highway and expressway. Yeah. Okay. You see here, right now the system is working and all the information will capture by system and our system will do in, do in the, do in the detection of the, of the environment. Wow. All the intermediate perception result will be showing also on this uh, screen. So yep. the driver can see the dangers around him and what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do you conduct these intelligent driving simulation tests? So they have mainly three purposes. The first one is safety, because all of the tests are running in the virtual environment. We could, we could pre let's say, really run in some, some extreme dangerous conditions, and without consider any, let's say, safety relevant issue. Second, also for the, for the cost. All of the simu simulation tests are running in the, in the virtual environment. And without any real vehicle, we could save a lot of resources of the real vehicle tests. Very cost yeah? efficient. Yeah. And the third point is, which is also the most important part, it also saves a lot of developer timing. Then the system could all do it by himself. Yeah? And there we go. Yeah, there we go. In the Yangtze River Delta, Shanghai is the brain for new energy vehicles, covering automotive chips and software. About 200 kilometers south in Ningbo, Zhejiang Province, the heart and body are made, including power batteries and body parts. Let's go to Ningbo to explore the new energy vehicle industry. The rise of new energy vehicles marks a significant development in the reduction of carbon emissions in the transportation industry. As the heart of these vehicles, the performance of power batteries plays a crucial role in consumer decisions. I'm here in Ningbo at a new energy vehicle power battery factory to talk with a research and development expert.
哎，这个电池的是什么？这是我们金砖二代电池的电池包。那我来给你介绍一下，这是我们的金砖电池，它能实现十点五分钟，从百分之十充到百分之八十电量，大大提升了人们的出行便捷。我来带你介绍一下，这边是我们电芯寿命测试的一个实验室。So how do you test the cell's performance? 对于电芯性能的话，我们其实会测试电芯的存储性能和循环性能。对于存储性能，我们会改变电芯的温度，还有电芯的荷电状态，去测试它的存储性能。对于循环的话，我们也会改变不同的温度。不同的充电的倍率去测试它的这个循环性能。这台设备是我们一台负十度以下的测试柜，它可以测试我们低温的一个性能。这个是我们六十度测试的一个高低温测试柜，嗯，它主要是测试在高温下电池的一个性能。Lightweight technology is vital for new energy vehicles, helping save energy and cut emissions in the auto industry. In Ningbo's Bailin district, over 110 companies make auto parts, selling them worldwide. Today, I'm taking a look at one of these enterprises. These silver-like metals are aluminum and dots. The die casting process begins by melting them in a high temperature furnace until they become liquid. This is 700度的高温熔炉,进入炉内的铝锭,经过60分钟左右,熔纳为铝水。这是压铸的第一步。I'm always amazed to see aluminum go from solid to liquid. It's like the material is coming to life, ready to become something amazing. Let's check out what happens next. 这是不同吨位的一些熔炉，呃，用于生产不同的铝合金材质，生产好的一些产品。高温的铝液运到压铸车间，然后注入到模具，生产出这些毛坯。那这个毛坯呢，从模具出来之后的温度还有三百度左右。High pressure die casting process really excites me. The power and precision needed to fill every detail of the mold. It's like engineering and creativity coming together in one perfect moment. This is a hot. Be careful. Yes. This is the Oh wow, that's really hot. Yes, it feels yes, like yeah. feels like 80 yeah. degrees. Yes, yes. yes. After molding, die cast parts go through deburring, blasting, cleaning, and testing before they're ready. Zhang Gong, I'm curious. What makes the die casting process different from traditional stamping and welding? 铝合金压铸的哈，它是是一个高度集成的过程。那原本由十个二十个工序生产的零件，那集高度集成为一个零件，起到了一个高度的节能减排，也保证了产品的一个轻量化。新能源汽车的续航里程更长。Once the components pass inspection, are they ready for shipping? 我们的零部件不但是要供给国内的客户，那么同时也也会出口到欧洲和北美，例如像。Uh, so the cars we're driving overseas, they might have parts made here? Yes, I think so. In this smart workshop, a new car is built every 60 seconds. Automated systems cut energy use, saving power, and reducing emissions. We can achieve from the customer to get the product to get our product. It only takes 2 to 6 days. In such a short period, in the Ningbo-Hangzhou-Wan area, there is a huge 
制造业集群及制造工厂啊，依托于这样的一个优势，我们的呃自动驾驶与整车制造，体现出我们长三角地区那种产业集群的优势。In 2024, China produced over 10 million new energy vehicles, with 40% coming from the Yangtze River Delta. But this is just the beginning. China's NEV industry will keep growing, leading a global shift towards a greener, low-carbon future.